Hi everyone, today we're just going to show you how the helmet was created that was featured in the iPad teaser video and uh, break down a little bit sort of how you can make something like this as well. So first, this was the initial sketch that was done right inside the Gravity Sketch app and as you can see it's really loose um, and these are curves that you can go right into edit mode with or you know put the transparency down and start sketching more refined lines over top of. And so what we see here is a more refined version. The visor has already been pulled out and manipulated, but this is the refined side sketch that was taken from that looser sketch. And if we go into edit mode here by clicking the arrow, selecting your stroke, and clicking the dotted icon at the bottom of the screen, we can see our points to manipulate the curve. And so you can navigate through the scene by using either your finger or the navigation cube, and also manipulating the sketch plane using the slider in order to control where you're sketching. So now we're going to look at our layers again and we're going to turn on the rest of the wireframe sketch using the exact same process that we've just discussed. By laying down your curves and moving around the scene, you can manipulate the control points and really get some refined wireframe sketches. Let's have a quick look at how we can actually change the thickness of the stroke as well after we've laid it down. So if we go into edit mode for the stroke, you'll see off to the right menu, there's a little arrow button. If you click that arrow, it will bring you to a menu where you can adjust the thickness of your stroke and just move the sliders around in different axes and you will control the ovalness or roundness or thickness of the stroke. And if you're clever, you can actually use this type of manipulation as a sort of pseudo surface, which moves us into the next thing, which is ribbons. Ribbons are a type of stroke in the Gravity Sketch app and can be manipulated like surfaces. So we're gonna turn on the ribbon layer here and have a look at the complete surface. As you can see, this helmet is made up of multiple ribbon surfaces. We're just going to pick one, and as you can see, we have all the points just like the strokes that we can manipulate and move around. So I'm just going to draw a quick little ribbon here, and you'll see all the points that are generated after drawing it. We're going to move to a different angle, and we can begin moving those points around just like the strokes. By pressing the plus or the minus icon at the bottom, we can also simplify the ribbon as well, just like the strokes. If we move to another angle, we can begin moving that stroke in 3D. If we fast forward and look at the final result here, you can see every single surface on this helmet was made with a ribbon. And so you can begin to manipulate the ribbon surface to shape to your curves. Let's turn on the last layer here, which is the inner padding of the helmet. As you can see, it's mostly made up of strokes as well as the volume tool. And the same rules apply to these as well, where you go into edit mode and begin manipulating the points in 3D. Lastly, we're just gonna turn on that visor layer on a slight transparency to give the full effect. Thank you very much for watching. Please go download the new Gravity Sketch iPad app, the App Store, and give us your feedback and your thoughts while using it. You can tag us and as well as Gravity Sketch iPad on Instagram. We'd love to see your work. For more training content, go to our YouTube channel or refer to the tutorial videos inside the app. Thank you very much.